Welcome to Sonova's iTron Meter Installation Guide. Today we are going to cover how to properly install the Sonova iTron Meter. Installing the Sonova Meter is in many ways similar to the installation of a basic socket mounted utility meter. Once energized, setup should only take 10 minutes. For a successful install, we are going to focus on three main points of our installation. Location, wiring, and setup. Location. Make sure to give the meter clear access to the cell signal. Access can be blocked by interior walls and clutter. Install the meter in a location free of obstruction in order to guarantee cellular access to the internet. Meters previously installed indoors have had trouble gaining a cellular signal. We recommend installing on an exterior wall whenever possible. When wiring your system, please remember to wire the meter with the PV system as the line. In other words, wire the meter base top down coming from the PV system. Keep in mind, this is often reversed for utility meter installations. Remember, we need to show what is coming in from the PV system, not what is going out to it. An installed meter should be firmly placed in the base with the cover fastened to the enclosure. Time to power up your system. Once the meter is energized, the startup routine of the meter will automatically begin. Let's take a look. Screen 01 should read the KWH as the system remains on. In order to validate correct installation, make sure that the read direction is left to right. This can be confirmed by looking at the direction arrow and watching the direction ticker. Notice the 01 in the bottom left corner of the display and the KWH label just to the right of the number. Screen 02 displays the current date. You can see it broken down here with month, day, and then year. Screen 03 displays the current time, hour, then minutes. Screen 551 or SSI will indicate connectivity. It will show busy while it is searching for the network. When you start to see 106 followed by two numbers, 106XX, this indicates the setup is done. So what do these numbers mean? The first digit indicates cell coverage. One is your golden number. The second digit indicates the meter state. 06 is your magic number here. The last two digits indicate signal strength. Numbers 8 through 31 are adequate to connect to the network. Make sure to download the iTron install guide from Sonova Articles and locate the table on the last page. This table will show you the breakdown of the sequence of what the numbers mean. We recommend waiting up to 5 to 10 minutes before leaving the site. Do not turn off the system before it is done loading. If 106XX is displayed, the installation has completed. If not displayed after 5 to 10 minutes, do not install the meter. Do not leave the site without a 106XX reading. It is a good practice to have a second meter on hand in the event that the unit turns out to be faulty. If it is still showing busy after a half an hour, you have a problem. The meter is bad and you need to replace it. So remember what we covered here. Location. This is a plug and play system. Just pay attention to where you put it to make sure it has an open connection to the network. Wiring. Remember that the flow of energy goes from the panels to house, opposite of utility meters. Finally, set up. Download the iTron screen spec sheet to make sure that it calibrates correctly. Wait. Incorporate the 5 to 10 minutes that the boot up takes into your commissioning process. We understand that time is money, so we want to make sure that you are not wasting time. Remember to do this now so that you don't have to drive back later. Thank you so much for joining us. Reach out to Sonova if you have any further questions. Our project managers are standing by.